Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to make this cool visualization in Unreal Engine 5. And we are going to use a plugin called Atlux. Atlux is one of the best visualization plugins for Unreal Engine 5. So this is the Atlux website. And you can use my coupon code PINKPOCKET to get a 50% off the first month. So let's get started with this. So we're going to use UE 5.4 and we're going to go to plugins and enable the plugin. After the plugin has been enabled, you can go right there and that's going to bring up the Atlux panel. So here we have four different categories. So let's go to the studio one. And here Atlux gives you a lot of different studio presets. So let's select the first studio preset. This is the camera. You can just pin the camera view. After that, you can select any element you want and move it. So I'm going to select this light and you can see that you can move it and you can like change the placement of this. Now, if you want to dynamically place this, you can press the space bar key. Now in the dynamic placement mode, you can use these shortcuts to rotate and scale your lights. So let's explore some studio options. This is the turntable studio. And if you simulate the game, you can see that we have a turntable setup. This is a reveal setup. So you can use this for product reveal animations. Next, we have the glide setup. You have a camera rail right here. So you can select it and move the camera. So this is like a futuristic neon cyberpunk setup. You can also change the color of these lights. Next, we have a nerve setup. So if you want to make Gaussian splats and like nerfs in Unreal Engine 5, you can use this to like render out your sequences and you can like convert that into a nerf. And now we are getting into the visual effects area. So this is like the green screen setup that we have. It's a typical chroma setup. Next, we have a backplate setup. So you can use an image or a HDRI as your backplate and use it for your product renders. And next we have the transparent studio. So this will allow you to like render out your products with a transparent alpha background. After that, we have a HDRI studio. So if you want a different HDRI, you can like go to the material and change that property. And lastly, we have option to AI randomize. Now this is a pretty cool feature. So each time you press that button, Atlux is going to generate a new studio. Okay, so let's now go into the lighting panel. So you can take a look at these lighting presets. So I think that a lighting looks good. I'm going to go with this. Okay. So now we are going to do some product visualization. So let's add our product. So I'm going to use the Apple vision pro and I'm going to like add that 3d model in the level and make sure that the 3d model is parented to the platform. You can also go ahead and delete this example model. So this is looking pretty good. I really like those reflections. Now let's go to the camera view 
and further position this model. Okay, so I'm going to select the platform and enable the turntable. And in the play mode, you can see that you have a turntable animation. Now, if you want like a floating animation, you have an option for that as well. You can enable that and that's going to give you a floating effect. Okay, now before we render this, let's go to the sequence panel. And in this panel, you can like add your cameras and your different animation objects. So you have a camera, you have a 360 degree camera and you have the target and all this stuff, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna demo this and I'm gonna add a camera rail. And this is gonna be a circular rail. So make sure that your camera is selected and add that. So you can use this and create pretty cool product visualization animations. Now let's render this. In the render panel, you have all the settings related to your render. I'm going to choose a quick render and you can choose if you want to render a single image or a sequence. You can choose your frame rate. You can choose your file path. Next, you have the resolution. Now here you can go up to 8K. After that, you have the overall quality. So this will influence the samples. After that, you can choose your file format. So if you want a PNG sequence, I would recommend a PNG sequence, but you can also go for Apple ProRes if you want like a high quality video file. You also have the denoiser and motion blur, they are enabled by default. Again, the alpha background thing is pretty useful for like compositing and VFX. And after that, you also need to go to your project settings and enable this option. You also have your object IDs here. So you have your crypto mat. Next, we have the update options. So you can exclude like specific objects right here. Now, if everything looks good, you can press the shoot button. That's going to bring up a customized version of the movie render queue. So this is going to render out your animation. Again, if you want to check out Atlas, links are down in the description. If you like the video, leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. That's it. I'm going to see you in the next video.